Thomas Francis Highland. Thomas Francis Highland, c. 1831, 1 March 1920, was a businessman of Victoria, Australia, instrumental in turning Penfold's wines from a cottage industry to an Australian icon. History. Thomas Francis Highland was born in Ireland, the youngest son of John Highland of Ballinallard, Ireland, a small village 2 km west of Tipperary, Ireland. He migrated to Australia at the time of the gold rush, worked at the diggings, and in 1853 gained employment as a warder at Pentridge Stockade, then the Hulk president, was promoted to chief warder of the Hulk success was transferred to Collingwood Stockade. On 24 September 1862, he married Mary Georgina and Georgina Penfold, only child of Dr. Christopher Rawson Penfold, 2 August 1811, 26 March 1870, and Mary Penfold, Neholt, 1816, 31 December 1895 of the Grange, Magill. Dr. Penfold, son of John Penfold, vicar of Staining, Sussex, was trained at St. Bartholomew's Hospital and practiced medicine at Fashionable Brighton from 1838. He married Mary, daughter of Dr. Thomas Holt of Edmonton, London, on 26 May 1835. They migrated to South Australia aboard Taglioni, arriving in June 1844 with their daughter Georgina and servant Ellen Timbrell. He was in straitened finances, apart from the cost of the voyage. He had spent P.S. 1200 on their 500 acres, 200 Hal Magill property, purchased sight unseen from Robert Cock and William Ferguson. He had borrowed P.S. 200 from his cousin Thomas Brooks, Penfold before leaving England. He had brought vine cuttings from England and France, mostly Grenache, their cut ends sealed with wax. He planted a vineyard near the house, and within a few years was making red wines, carefully stored in small French oak casks. Mary is known to have had a major part in its production and blending. Soon they had more than enough for his grateful patients in those days fortified red wine, particularly port, was considered beneficial for anemia and other complaints, and Penfold had no faith in the efficacy of the imported product and enjoyed modest sales in Victoria as well as South Australia. Penfold was a successful doctor and popular figure in the area. He was on the building committee of St. George's Anglican Church, Woodford, South Australia, the first Anglican church building in the colony, and still in use. Then, in 1856, the first chairman of the District Council of Burnside. Ellen Timbrell died on 3 September 1857. The Highlands' daughter Inez Kathleen Highland was born 16 August 1863 and from age eight lived with her grandmother at the Grange, Magill. She was not a strong child, and her parents believed the clear air and moderate climate of Magill would be beneficial to her health. A strong bond grew between the two. Inez was a brilliant and imaginative child, and Mary encouraged her writing, especially her poetry. Even well into her late twenties, Inez seems to have no other life. Perhaps she was an invalid. She died from typhoid fever on 11 January 1892, and Mary left for Melbourne shortly after, never to return. She published a collection of her granddaughter's work, as in Sunshine and in Shadow in 1893, which received some excellent, if mixed, reviews. Dr. Penfold died in 1870 after a long illness and was buried in St. George's Churchyard. Mary by then had taken full control of the vineyard and winery and in 1869 had hired as assistant Joseph Gillard, 1846-1927. Gillard became manager of the Magill Grange Vineyards in 1881. Highland recommended to Mary Penfold. Another reading could be that Highland, who would have known his mother-in-law well, was offering his moral support whichever route she chose. 
On 14 September 1881, they signed an arrangement that Highland should be Penfold's accountant and their marketing agent for Victoria, where he would continue to live, leaving Mary to run the winery and receive 10% of profits. Highland, who had in 1876 taken 12 months' leave of absence in 1876 preparatory, it was thought to retiring, finally retired from Castlemaine Jail and the Penal Department in 1883. Mary died in 1895. The following year, some members of the family adopted the style Penfold Highland, recognizing the importance of the name Penfold. It later frequently appeared in print hyphenated as Penfold Highland, but with what justification it is difficult to ascertain. Under Highland's guidance, the company established vineyards and wineries at McLaren Vale and Neuriupa in South Australia, and Dalwood and Minchinbury in New South Wales and offices in Adelaide. His son Frank Highland managed the business in Sydney, and Leslie Highland in Adelaide, Georgina died at home on 27 August 1911, aged 67, and her remains were interred at Brighton General Cemetery. Thomas Francis Highland also died at home at the age of 88 years. Family Thomas Francis Highland, c. 1831. 1 March 1920 married Mary Georgina Penfold, 1835-27 August 1911 in 1861. Their family included Inez Highland, 16 August 1863-1892 wrote poems published posthumously by her grandmother Mary Penfold, as in Sunshine and in Shadow. Estellian Highland, 20 August 1868-1946, married Charles Knight on 23 August 1889 in Melbourne, left for England, and not heard from again. Frank Astor Penfold Highland, 30 December 1872-17 December 1948, married Gladys Lethbridge, 17 March 1886-11 July 1974. He was governing director, Penfold's Wines Limited. She succeeded him and chaired the board from 1948 to 1961. Noted collector of fine art. He was in 1918 founder of Federal Viticultural Council. Rada Penfold Highland, 1922-1980, married Captain Stuart Hurlaw of the Indian Army on 3 January 1945. She married again in London to retired Major Roderick Paddy Russell on 20 November 1952. Author of Wine Talk, she inherited a fortune on the death of her mother. Rada was the subject of Wendy Paramer's 1963 entry for the Archibald Prize. Rebel Penfold Russell, fashion journalist of Mode magazine, executive producer of Priscilla, Queen of the Desert, and acting parts in that film, as well as Easy Virtue and Pause. She was awarded an OAM in 2009. Herbert Leslie Penfold Highland, 4 March 1875, 6 May 1940, was a golfing prodigy. Five months after learning to play, he was runner-up for the Victorian Championship. A few months later, he won the Essendon Club Championship. He married Edith Mary Miller, a daughter of W. H. Miller C. 1839, 20 September 1915, on 30 April 1900, which marriage ended in acrimony. Their family included Evelyn Penfold Highland C. 1902-1982 married Ernest Edward Jolly C. 1890-23 February 1952 of Bruffham Place, North Adelaide, on 20 December 1926. He and his brother A. W. Jolly carried on business A. E. Jolly and company started by their father in 1883. Francis William Bill Penfold Highland C. 1904-28 January 1946 married Genevieve Primrose Malcolm in 1929. Genevieve was a granddaughter of John Primrose Judith and San Penfold Highland C. 
1930 married Reginald Lester Reg Tolley, 1927, on 20 April 1950. They divorced around 1968. Kim Tolley, 10 March 1953, was a Kunawara Vignoran. Alexandra Ang Tolley. Rebecca Beck Tolley, Christopher Ross and Jim Penfold, Highland C. 1907, 23 July 1926, killed by a hit and run driver while walking back from the Glenelg Palais de Dance. Francis Joseph Siebert C. 1877, 19 October 1952, was named as the culprit but never charged. Jeffrey Offen Jeffrey Penfold Highland, OBE 24 February 1911, married Margaret C. Louise on 13 September 1939. He is remembered for supporting Ray Beckwith and Max Schubert in their Grange Hermitage experiments against opposition by the formidable Gladys Penfold Highland. Inducted into Barons of Barossa in 1975. From around 1890, they lived at Morabin, Worth Street, Brighton Beach. Equals equals references equals equals.